Nick, we will have all those answers, of course, coming up for you in just a little bit. We're taking you outside right now and getting a look at radar. Take a look right here. Mostly clear conditions. A very gorgeous day, as you mentioned earlier, 70s and 80s earlier today. And as we head into the next couple of days, we are expecting a few changes in the forecast. Still pretty breezy out there. We're looking at those offshore winds right now. 12 mile an hour sustained winds in Gorman. 7 for downtown, 19 for San Pedro. But we are expecting the winds to shift from offshore to onshore. So with that, a bit of a cool down in store. All the details coming up. Rick, back to you. All right, thank you. Isn't that great is, to see? Is suffering from a concussion. No. Yeah, that was good stuff. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. Very cool. We are um, headed to the weekend. Ah, yeah. Jolly great credit. day. To, just yeah. a fabulous day. Oh, oh amazing. So nice. It really made you think weekend. You know, yeah. it's that nice Dead. and you want to be mm -hmm. outside on yep. a day like this. Tomorrow, well, won't be exactly the same, but it won't be too shabby. Okay. Compared to, you know, where we were today, if you like that sort of thing, as we, we say. We like that sort of you thing. You like that sort of thing? All right. You're going to like tomorrow because we're talking, well, 70s, not so much 80s in the forecast for you tomorrow, but it's still going to be a warm one, and then eventually we're going to continue to cool it down as we head into next week. We'll show you how cool coming up in just a minute. We are taking you outside to our Sierra Cam, and as we do, we're eyeing mostly clear conditions and very mild conditions. Right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City, we're currently at 66. And that's no surprise because earlier today, we were in the 80s, 70s and 80s all across the Southland earlier today. Clear conditions, plenty of sunshine, still the case. Well, no sunshine, sunshine rather right now, but we are looking at pretty clear conditions out there on radar. Temperature wise, we're in the 50s and the 60s. You'll see 67 in downtown, 64 in San Dimas and 50 right now in the high desert in Palmdale, Santa Clarita at 59. Earlier today, we made it to 82 degrees. Average is 70 and record temperatures 90. So we didn't get close to record numbers. Well, kind of close, eight degrees close, but we were well above average for this time of year. It's staying above average over the next 24 hours. We're down into the 40s, then we're up into the 50s. And by the afternoon, we are up into the upper 70s. So we've got a pretty good looking forecast on our hands as we head to tomorrow afternoon. Santa Monica, a little more mild for you. You're at 68. Anaheim, 74. Riverside, 77. And Woodland Hills, you're getting up to 78 degrees by the afternoon hours. So high pressure is moving out of our forecast. And as a result, well, we're looking at cooler conditions. It's sunny for now, but that's all starting to change as we head toward the second part of your weekend. That onshore flow starting to pick up and with that we'll see a little more cloud cover and we will see cooler temperatures tomorrow. You're not going to feel it as much, but you're really going to start to feel the difference by Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Take a look at the valleys in the Inland Empire. We are still warm as we head into tomorrow. We're significantly cooler by Sunday and don't forget it is daylight saving time. So set those clocks forward an hour between 2 and 3 a.m. So 2 a.m. becomes 3 a.m. We do technically lose an hour of sleep between Saturday and Sunday. Monday, a little more cloud cover for you, mostly cloudy by Tuesday and keeping things that way as we head into your Wednesday. So again, keeping it warm for now, but really feeling a bit of a difference as we head into your Sunday and your work week. Rick and Sharon, back to you. And we're getting a look outside this evening, mild and clear, but will it last through the weekend? We'll have your full forecast coming up. The best. Uh, That's a good name. Rick, um, I think we have a new name for you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Jack. We already call him Little Ricky. Or just Ricky, of, but not the little. Ricky. But, you yeah. know. Okay. So. <laughs> Ricky Ricardo. All right, <laughs> let's move on. We're going to take you outside to the pier tonight where we are dealing with clear conditions and mild conditions out there. Several people out and about this evening. So it is Friday night and it is nice and mild out there. So no surprise. 64 degrees right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. And we're keeping things into the 50s and 60s tonight. But we are cooling down eventually. High pressure is starting to move in and or move out rather. And as it starts to break down, we're expecting a bit of a cool down, keeping it sunny for now. For now, we're talking for your Saturday. As we head into your Sunday, though, we are expecting some changes as that onshore flow continues to kick in. And as it does, well, we'll see more cloud cover and we certainly will see a cooler forecast as we head to Sunday and the rest of your work week. So let's get a look at your forecast right here. You're going to see well, future cast showing you a little more cloud cover and we're jumping ahead to Sunday because we're still dealing with plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Just a cooler forecast by Sunday six in the morning dealing with a little bit of fog right there. Maybe even a little bit of drizzle produced from it. You'll see by Sunday afternoon looks to be a little clearer, but more clouds moving in by the evening hours. We are calling it partly cloudy by Sunday and by the overnight hours into Monday. We are expecting more cloud cover and does look like there's a chance of rain 
Orion Tar North. Most of it really just staying north of Point Conception, but it doesn't mean that, well, there won't be a chance here. Slight chance of showers south of Point Conception, but for the most part, again, we are keeping the rain to our north. We're just keeping mostly cloudy conditions and cooler temperatures intact for the week. At this point, that large ridge of high pressure is still holding strong over Southern California, but that's eventually going to start to break down, starting to break down a little bit tomorrow. And then as we head to Sunday and of course your work week starting to break down even more. So then low pressure starts to slide in. That's providing us with that chance of rain to our north. But here at home in the Southland, we are expecting cooler conditions and cloudier conditions as that onshore flow starts to pick up later this weekend and early next week. You'll see that pattern reflected right here on your five day forecast for the coast sunshine through Saturday and then by Sunday we are expecting again a mix of clouds and sun by Monday more clouds and then by Tuesday we are expecting cool temperatures in the forecast a look at one more five day forecast this evening I do want to show you by tomorrow we are expecting upper 70s mid 60s by Sunday remember we are looking at well daylight saving time between Saturday and Sunday so we set clocks forward an hour, lose an hour of sleep between Saturday and Sunday at 2 a.m. Then on Monday, more cloud cover for you by Tuesday, mostly cloudy. And by Wednesday, we are bracing for, well, mild temperatures still. And for the basin in Orange County, you're going to see right here, cooler temperatures, partly cloudy by your Sunday, more clouds by your Monday, and staying mostly cloudy and cool through your Tuesday and through your Wednesday. Rick, Sharon. And here at home, we're looking at very nice, calm weather as we head into your weekend, but a cool down in store. We'll have all the details coming up. Yeah. Been there, Gotta done do that, it. right? We've been there, done that. We Look sure have. All right. Watch, Watch out. out. The whoa, moon whoa, is whoa, whoa. Where am I going? Just kidding. Um, yes, that's the moon. It's actually a time lapse video. Of course, the moon's not moving that fast. The Earth's not moving that fast. Uh, but you're going to see right here. So there it goes. It looks like a full moon. Technically, it was full just the other morning, but still looks nice and full out there and nice and clear. So we got to see the moon. We can still see the moon out there, the stars and all that jazz, because again, we are looking at clear conditions and keeping things that way, at least for now. Getting a look at radar right now, mostly clear conditions for you. Temperatures in the 60s this evening, so quite mild. 40s, 50s and 60s, 61 in downtown, 59 San Pedro. Laguna Beach here at 59 and earlier today, downtown, you made it to 82, average is 70 and record temperatures, well, 90. So didn't get anywhere close to that. Over the next 24 hours, 40s, 50s, upper 70s by the afternoon hours. And you'll see downtown getting up to 72, Palmdale 75, Woodland Hills getting up to 78 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. So high pressure is on its way out. But until then, we're still dealing with sunshine and still dealing with warm temperatures, but just not as warm as today, eventually cooling it down and eventually bringing in a little more cloud cover into the forecast as that onshore flow really starts to make a push. So you're going to see this reflected in your five day forecast right here. Take a look for the basin in Orange County. Cooler temperatures partly cloudy by Sunday. It's all like also daylight saving time. So don't forget to set those clocks forward an hour Monday through Wednesday. Cooler and cloudier conditions for you. So that's for the basin in Orange County. Getting a look at your next five day forecast. You'll see right here. We are also dealing with sunshine tomorrow, but partly cloudy and cooler conditions by Sunday, Monday through Wednesday mostly cloudy for you in the valleys in the Inland Empire. Doesn't look like we're going to have that last five day forecast. But again, just a reminder, set those clocks back or forward. Excuse me, Sunday first thing in the morning and a cool down as we head into Sunday and your work week. Rick and Sharon back to you. Thanks, Evelyn.